What's going on guys? Alex with it on full read EDC and today I'm ready to do not, not a full review but more of an overview on the Devo Knives Stout V2 prototype. So I've only had this in for about a week. Um, I need to get it shipped out to the next channel so they can check it out. We're trying to get as many channels as we can um, to check out the prototype before the um, pre-order launches um, which is actually next Saturday, I think. Um, today is Monday the 7th, and the pre-order, I believe, is right here. Yes, my, uh, the 12th, so I think that's on Saturday. Um, but, so this is more of an overview. I don't really want to give, you know, I'll give pretty much my full thoughts, but again, I've only had this in for about a week. Haven't carried it and caught with it a ton, um, but I have enough, you know, enough input to give you guys um, some thoughts and opinions on it. But, yeah, you guys know Devo Knives. They produce some really high quality, um, clean designs. It's Kevin over at Left EDC and Colin over at CM Knife Designs collaboration. Um, they are partners on it and they have come out with awesome knives. You know, they've, the Stout, original Stout was their first sort of flagship knife they came out with. Then they had the Mash and then they have the Growler, the Buzz. Um, they're not coming out with the um, Stout V2 here. They're coming out with a... Uh, they came out with a Mash V2. They're coming out with a Lush, which is a front flipper with fat carbon. They're coming out with a Growler V2. They have a lot of cool stuff down the pipeline. Uh, a real like a micro knife called the Nip, which is really cool. Um, just a lot of cool knives, a lot of cool designs, and I have liked pretty much everything um, that I've handled or have in the collection from them. So you know, Kevin's a good buddy of mine. Colin's also. Um, really cool dude. So they just, you know, they, they get my support, you know, sort of baked in, but I'm going to try to be, you know, transparent when it comes to, you know, their designs and stuff like that. But this is possibly the best knife they've come out with, um, just with the upgraded materials and the price point that it comes in at, I think it's a very good deal. Um, so I do have a sheet here and if you guys caught the unboxing of this, I did go over some of it, but, um, we're going to go over some specs real quick and then we'll go over, different versions uh, and there are a few changes that'll be happening with this but um so i guess we'll go over versions right away there are going to be six different variants you can order from the pre-order um they will be pretty limited i think between 50 and 100 each um, for each variant so if you guys are interested i will leave a link down below to their website so pay attention to their website and their instagram um, but pre-order like i said is august 12th at 1 p.m at devonives.com link in the description. Uh, but there will be four right-handed models and two left-handed models. So for the um, right-handed, you have the purple haze fat carbon inlays with purple pivot collars, bead blast titanium bolsters, and belt satin blade, which is this exact version here. Then you will have an Arctic storm fat carbon inlays with blue pivot collars, bead blast titanium bolsters, and a belt satin blade. So basically this knife, take away um, the purple and add blue. Uh, then you have Arctic Storm Fat Carbon with blue pivot collars, bead blast titanium bolsters, and a stone wash blade. So if you're looking for more of like a worker finish, um, they will have a stone wash blade available. And then they have a white storm fat carbon inlay with satin pivot collars, DLC tit titanium bolsters, excuse me, and a two-tone DLC belt satin, which is really cool. So if you guys are interested in more of a, you know, sort of black look, um, sort of a darker look with your knife, you have that option as well. And then there are two left-handed versions. Um, basically this version lefty and then a Arctic storm, um, with stone wash, uh, will also be available. Um, so the style V2 specs, we're going to go right into materials here real quick. Um, before we get into the overall specs, I will say, um, you know, some materials. So of course you do have a bolster lock here, beautiful milling on both sides of the bolster. Um, you have the, the very iconic, I think, you know, blade shape here for the stout. Is it a, is it a worn cliff? Is it a sheep's foot? Um, it kind of has a little bit of both. Has a poon up there for your thumb. Has a little bit of a thumb ramp. Has a beautiful, um, very deep hollow grind on there, which is very nice. Um, beautiful choil. Mill titanium pot clip. Um, it's on bearings. Backspacer with a titanium, um, excuse me, titanium backspacer with a uh, lanyard loop, which is nice. Uh, for internal milling, there are three big pockets on the show scale side and on the bolster lock side, there are three smaller ones. Um, of course, you can switch the pot clip over to lefty carry with a little filler tab right there, which is nice. Um, yeah, that's all for materials. So we're going to go over specs real quick. Of course, this comes in at a 3.3 inch blade, which is right in my wheelhouse, um, you know, right in 
I tend to go from three to 3.25. So 3.3 is a little bit above it, but it's, I still love that, you know, that area of blade lengths. Um, 3.5 ounces, overall length is 7.59 inches with a 4.29 inch handle, uh, 0.13 inch or 0.13 inch blade stock. So nice and thin. Um, it is 0 0.015 behind the edge. So like I said, this thing comes down to a wicked and very sharp edge with that hollow grind. Um, very good for cutting. Uh, this specific uh, prototype is in Almax steel, but one really cool thing about the production versions is they are coming in Vanex Super Clean, which is awesome. Um, you don't see too many companies doing Vanex nowadays. You know, Quiet Carry is pretty much the first company that pops into my head and a lot of other people's heads when you think of Vanex on a production knife. Um, they do it on a couple of different models. And uh, I know Vanex is, I believe, Kevin's favorite steel, um, if not his favorite steel, like a top two or three steel of his. Um, and that's because it's rust proof. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it, you know, uh, getting, you know, your, your sweat and, you know, possibly rusting in your pocket during the summer, which I know Kevin has, you know, some issues with. Um, and, you know, I can definitely relate to that as well. So it's really cool to see a, you know, such a, I don't call it unique because people know about it and it's, it's used. But it's not a widely used steel like 20 CV, you know, uh, M390, um, you know, different things like that. So I think that's really cool. And I think that's um, a very, you know, interesting way to grab people in for this pre-order is by using a, you know, really cool steel like that. So um, that'll be on the production version. Uh, of course, I, you know, I've already stated a few times, deep hollow grind, uh, 0.48 thick inch handle, contour handles, which is also very nice. Um, a little bit different than the original version where they were just kind of like flat slabs. Um, and then you had titanium T8 hardware all around, which is also very, very nice. Um, before we get into action and Argos and all that, there are three specific changes that they highlighted here on this paper. So there's going to be no filler tab, which you know, I did, I guess, already highlight on there, um, which doesn't make sense because I just went over that there are going to be two left-handed versions. So the filler tab will not be on um, the production version. You know, if you're going to get a right-handed knife, it will just have... A nice clean piece of fat carbon or if you're going to get a um, left-handed knife you are going to get a nice piece of um, clean fat carbon on the um, left-handed side which is cool um, number two a milled clip will also come or sorry a milled clip will come installed and it'll fit into um, the wire clip slots but a wire clip will also be provided so you know it's kind of user's choice on what their carry preference is which is really really cool um, you know, I really like the milled clip. I think it looks great from an aesthetic standpoint, but I, I love a, mil or a wire clip. They just work really well. And uh, it's nice to have that sort of, you know, adaptability to go back and forth between, you know, sort of classier carry versus sort of more of a, you know, a worker's carry, you know, if you, if you would call it that. But um, that's also really cool. And then the third change is, of course, like I said, this is um, in Almax steel and the production version will be in Vanex steel. So you know, it's pretty good uh, production, or excuse me, a prototype coming and being very, very good. We're basically, I mean, they're not they're not changing anything on the knife. They're basically just taking away a filler tab because they're making it left-handed specific versions. They're adding a um, wire clip in addition to the milled clip, and they're just changing the steel. So to me, that tells me, um, I think, I want to say Best Tech is making these. Um, to me, that tells me that Best Tech can produce a very high-quality knife because, you know, you're not getting... Um, you're not getting prototypes in and you have to change like four or five different things. You're changing basically nothing on the knife and it's just a few aesthetic standpoints and a few other things that doesn't affect the knife's quality and ability to be used as a knife, which is really, really cool. And that's um, definitely has a lot going for it, I think. So, um, so yeah, we're going to talk about action next. And the detent on this knife is very, very snappy. You guys can kind of hear it snapping back into place here, which is very, very nice. Um, the middle finger flick just flies right out of there. Um, I love the snappiness on this. Just get a great acoustic too. Has a great sound to it. Um, very, you know, solid, kind of the wax open. Very, very nice, very satisfying, very fun to fidget with. Um, thumb flick also works very well. You know, the hole is very, you know, very large and very forgiving. Um, it's, it works a lot better than some of the other, you know, holes on different knives that I've handled over the years. Um, because for some knives, it is very easy to middle finger flick, but then you sacrifice, you know, the thumb flick ability because the way the hole is shaped, but this works really well. You just put your, you know, what I find easiest is you just put your thumb right here, kind of in the corner, and it just pops right out of there. Um, you can, of course, slow roll it out. 
you know, just fine. No worries at all about that um, for those who like to slow roll. But, you know, you get index finger flick, you get a ring finger flick. I'll try to pinky flick. Oh, my, see, I can, but it's hitting my uh, pointer finger. So you can, you know, flick a lot with these fingers. Lefty works really well. Um, lefty's, you know, even if you get a righty knife in your lefty, which I don't know why, because there's lefty versions available. The middle finger flick works really well, just because that bolster lock is, you know, up and you're not putting any lock bar pressure on it. You're you're resting right on the um, fat carbon slab. Provides for a very nice flick, which is awesome. Um, drop to your nail. You guys can see a few shakes, a few micro shakes in your dropped home. Um, you know, it is very smooth. It's not gonna be a guillotine, like, I mean, I can move the knife and it's not gonna not gonna close on me, but one little shake and it's, I mean, it's, it's very, very smooth, very buttery. Um, no blade play at all, locked up very tight. So action is, is very good. Uh, again, that D10 is nice and snappy. And I remember it being snappy on the original style too. So I know that, you know, Kevin is sort of, you know, he's a D10 diva. So he is going to, you know, any knife you're gonna get from Devo, you know you're gonna get a very nice, snappy, um, satisfying action uh, and this is probably one of the better ones i felt from them in a while which says a lot because all of them have been pretty damn good so um, action gets a 10 out of 10 on you know for me um, two thumbs up no complaints at all in that department next up we're going to talk about ergos and the ergos are very very comfortable um you know it's i had the original stout i did sell it because i just wasn't carrying it um especially when i got the buzz in i started carrying that more and I still have the uh, the original mash run that did. Love that knife. Probably will never get rid of it. Um, so I know, you know, this is, I know how comfortable it is from carrying the original stout. Uh, and this is even more comfortable because you're getting, you know, I, I believe it's a little bit lighter weight. It could be around the same, but it feels a little bit more lightweight. Um, just maybe because fat carbon is very thin, very lightweight. Uh, but it's very comfortable. And you also have more, you know, contouring as, you know, versus the original one with just flat slabs. Um, but it's very comfortable, you know, choked back without using the choil. I can get all four fingers on this knife um, pretty easily. I don't feel restricted or anything like that. Um, just have a little bit of the knife hanging out there, which is okay. Um, my thumb lands right on the jumping up here. And that's very, very comfortable in a saber grip and a hammer grip. Um, you know, you can, if you have to do some 7-Eleven gas station knife fights um, with Kevin uh, at the 7-Eleven um, for Slurpees, you know, you can do so with that. But my favorite is using this choil, of course. You know, your middle finger falls into the choil. Sorry, your pointer finger falls into the choil. Middle finger falls right here. You have a nice little gap um, restriction point right there. And then the rest of the fingers follow suit. I can get, um, you know, multiple, probably another finger or two on the back if I had to, which is nice. Um, my thumb falls right into that poon area. Uh, and you can do some fantastic push cuts with this. You have awesome control if you're cutting through or around something and you have to be careful. Um, and especially with that deep hollow grind, uh, you're just, I mean, it's just going to be slicing through things so easily. This thing would some, you know, would destroy a handful of cardboard boxes, uh, and especially with Vanex. It's nice. You're not going to have to worry about it rusting or, you know, um, anything like that. It's very good all around steel, um, which is really cool. So all in all, Ergos combined with the cutting ability of the, um, you know, awesome, very thin behind the edge blade. Makes for a very good cutting experience. Makes for a very good ergo experience. Um, I love the milling on the titanium. I think that's awesome that they added that on there. Feels great in the hand and just looks stunning as well. So uh, again, no complaints at all for that specific department. So next up, we're going to talk about carry. Now this knife is overall um, or overall 7.59 inches, but handle is 4.29. It's about a little under four and a half when it's closed. Um, and it weighs 3.5 ounces, so very nice lightweight carry um, for the size of the knife and materials you're getting. Now with the mode pot clip, you do have about this much knife sticking up out of your pocket, so that'll be intriguing to see. Um, I'm assuming with the wire clip, you will get probably a much deeper carry, maybe about that much out of your pocket. Um, but I like the way the, you know, this is a more premium knife. Uh, I feel like the original style was you know, it was a premium knife, had good materials, had good micarta, good steel and all that. But I feel like it was more, like if you compare, take, you know, take them side by side and compare the two, the original style I feel like was more of a, more of a worker's knife. You know, it, it felt a little bit more like rugged. Not saying that this isn't, but you know, you have, you have higher class materials, 
you know, you have a fat carbon, you have Vanex. Like this is more based on like just EDC carry where I feel like the original stout, you could go out and kind of beat up on it more. Um, so I, you know, off that point, I think the milled clip fits this knife very well. You know, it fits the whole, you know, upgraded materials, better steel, fat carbon, uh, more of an elegant carry. So I really like that. But I like that you can also take a wire clip and toss it on there if you want to use this for more, you know, more of a, you know, uh, I don't want to say hard use carry, but if you just, because in the same vein, you can use this as just strictly a kind of elegant, high class EDC knife. And if you just want it deeper in your pocket, just toss the milk clip on there. So the options are there and I really like that. Uh, I just, you know, I would have to get this knife in and, you know, check out how I like both of them before I decide to carry it. Um, but the milk clip carries very well. You know, you have a nice, nice amount of detent. It's you know, not going to come out of your pocket drops down in. Uh, I only carried this a handful of times. Um, I did have it in my gym shorts, probably more so than carrying it out and about in like khakis, um, but it drops down in. You have no jimping, no flipper tab, anything like that. If you're, you know, at risk of going down below it for anything and pulling it up out of your pocket, you're not going to have that issue. Uh, it carries nice. It's, it's a nice overall size. Um, you know, I had, I carried the original style a lot more, but again, that has a wire deep carry clip. Um, but this will also have a wire deep carry clip. So I can, you know, I can kind of, I have a, a good, you know, feeling that both of them are gonna fit this knife and work with this knife very well. So I'm glad that they are including both a milled clip and a uh, titanium, or uh, excuse me, a wire clip. I think that's really awesome of them. So uh, no complaints at all with the um, carryability of the Devo Nav Stout V2. So that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. The price point on the Devo Knives Stout V2 on pre-order will be $325. Um, but again, these will be very limited quantities. I think I saw between 50 and 100 of each. Uh, so if you guys are interested, definitely be on the lookout and uh, pay attention to um, the time that it'll be dropping. Again, August 12th at 1 p.m. at devoknives.com, which will be linked down below. Um, but then retail, if you don't get in on the pre-order, will be $375. So you're getting a $50 discount for the pre-order, which is awesome. Um, and they, you know, Kevin and Colin even say here, you know, they want to offer a considerable discount for folks who pre-order um, because they truly appreciate um, everyone supporting the project, which is awesome. Um, I think a $50 discount is really nice. Um, you don't see that too often. Most of the time it's only like a 10 or $20 discount, but I think $325 is very well worth this. You know, if you're looking and comparing the original stout to this, I think the original stout was like $280, $285, somewhere in that price range. And I think that was a you know very solid price. So you're talking about a 50-ish dollar up, you know, upcharge when you're talking. So here's what you get, you know, in, you know, you're getting fat carbon, you know, you can either get purple haze, uh, Arctic storm or white storm. Um, you're getting Vanex super clean steel, which is awesome. And you're also getting a mill titanium clip. You're getting titanium bolsters. You're technically getting two clips. Uh, so I think that's very justified in, you know, the price increase. And for me, the $50 increase in price is, you know, I would, I would be okay if they were honestly, at, you know, if the pre-order price was $375 and they were asking like 400, I, I think that's very fair. Um, so 325, I think is a fantastic price. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pull the trigger on this. Um, I know they are, are offering sezzle, but I'm trying to be a little bit more careful about my knife purchases now that my fiance and I are, you know, living on our own and stuff like that. I'm going to put more money towards, you know, real life things. So I'm just trying to be careful, but I really do like this knife. I think it's going to be a great hit for them. Um, and like I said, they are offering sezzle, I believe. I think I saw Kevin comment that somewhere. So if you're like me and uh, need to spread out payments a little bit easier, they definitely do have that option. I, I think uh, I should, you know, confirm that before I talk about it. But um, 325, great price. Again, Vanex Super Clean, beautiful deep hollow grind, titanium bolsters, mill titanium clip with an option of a wire clip, um, three different types of fat carbon, um, just a beautiful knife. And I think Best Tech killed it. Uh, I think the fit and finish on this knife is phenomenal. Um, I think the design is there. Um, just all around a really good knife. And I, like I said, I think this could be, you know, if not the best Devo knife so far, definitely probably top two or three. Um, just everything that goes in it is just really premium, high quality, um, made and designed, sorry, designed by two great guys 
made by a very respectable OEM. Um, so just all in all, great knife, and I, I can't rec recommend it more. Um, I'm happy for Kevin and Colin. I think they're coming, you know, out with everything they come out with so far has just been, you know, fire, heat, phenomenal, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think they're they're on the right path of uh, continuing to make awesome designs. And, uh, you know, they have plenty of stuff down the pipeline, and I can't wait to see what we don't even know about. So, um, but yeah, that was my sort of full overview of the Devo Knives about, about Stout V2 um, prototype. Thank you to Kevin and Colin for sending this out to me and uh, I'll get this shipped out to the next guy. So leave a comment down below, guys. What are your guys' thoughts on the Style V2 prototype? Do you think it's worth it? Uh, personally, I think it is. So hopefully you guys do too, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.